Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Pokemon Unite. Today we're going to go in depth on covering Gardevoir, the first Pokemon added to Pokemon Unite. And we got some good news about Gardevoir. They can slap. <laughs> so we're going to get straight into it here in practice mode. And we'll talk about the skills, we'll talk about the stats, and we'll talk about some things that you probably wouldn't know unless you watch this video. So, let's get straight into it here with old Routes. You have a choice between either Confusion or Teleport. So, we'll pick Confusion here. And Confusion is pretty straightforward. Literally, actually. That's all it is, is it's a skill that shoots straight forward. <laughs> now, let me go into practice options here and get rid of our cooldowns here so we get a little bit quicker about this. So, other cool things to know about it, it will shoot through walls. Also, it pierces. So, if I go up to these double monkeys over here, let's get some A-Poms, you'll see that it pierces. So, pop up, it goes through both of them. Pretty sweet. Now, at level 3, you'll get your other skill here that you could unlock, and in this case, it's going to be Teleport. Now, Teleport's pretty cool. Because, not only does it give you the ability to teleport, but you see underneath my health bar how I just got those two little notches. Those notches are my basic attack gauge. So, typically what you'll do with that is you'll see bop, and then bop, and then you'll see your third attack, it gives a special attack. Well, with teleport, it charges that right up, and then you do your special attack right away, which is pretty sweet. Now, something to know about Gardevoir's special attack here is that third attack, the special attack, it will lower the special defense of whoever it's hitting, which is kind of cool. So if you're looking to get some, I guess, good early game combos in, you could be one and then two and then hit him with the special and then teleport and then hit him with another special. I think that would be most useful in a scenario where you're kind of on the enemy Pokemon side of the map. You want to get in there and then get a quick snipe on their Pokemon to make it so you get the experience and they don't. But other than that, I think it's more kind of a nice to know rather than a big game changer. Now let's move on to our first big skill that we get. And honestly, it kind of... You kind of got to wait for it, man. I would say if Gardevoir has a weakness, it's that the skills take a long time to show up. She's a late bloomer. So if we go into practice options here and level up, it's not until level six where we get our first option. And we have an option between either Psy Shock and Future Sight. Now, good news is they're, they're both great. So we're going to pick Psy Shock here because it's got a lot of flash appeal. But to elaborate what I'm talking about here, Pokemon like Pikachu or Mr. Mime, they get a really good skill at level four. Pikachu gets Electro Ball, and then Mr. Mime gets Confusion, both at level 4. But with routes here, you gotta wait until you're level 6. So this is kind of a late bloomer there. But Psy Shock is pretty cool. So let's show you what Psy Shock does. Because it's awesome! So what Psy Shock does is it <laughs> unleashes Fury upon the Earth three times in a row. Which is pretty cool! So that's not where it ends, though. Take a look at this. I'm going to cast it, and then I'm going to move. You see how it keeps moving with you? I'm sure you can imagine already all the different scenarios where that gets awesome. Let's say someone's chasing you. Ah, stay away! <laughs> or let's say you're chasing someone. Come here, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Psy Shock can be really cool for a lot of situations. Or hey, let's say Gengar's on top of you. You're like, oh god, stay away. And you can just sit there and slam Gengar every time he's on top of you. Also... If you really want to chase after someone, you can use it with your eject button. So you're bam, bam, then get that last one in there with that eject button. Pretty freaking cool skill, but that's not where it ends. So let's go and turn our cooldowns back on here. And you'll see that every time you hit with Psy Shock, the cooldown will snap down a little bit. So take a look at the cooldown on the bottom of the screen. And every time it hits the substitute doll, it'll like snap down about a second. You ready? Bam. Pretty nice, because the cooldown's about 10 seconds. So if you can nail a second off every time you get that hit, you shave off, well, probably, what, around 33% of your cooldown? So it's nothing to scoff at. Now, Psy Shock, when it gets upgraded, will also increase with damage every single time that it hits. So if we go ahead and we take a look at our substitute doll here, let's give you an example. Let's go and turn the data back on, and then we'll hit the... We'll hit the poor substitute doll here a couple of times. So move cooldowns off and then go bam, 666. So you see it goes up by intervals of 666, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> You're at level six and it goes 666. Oh God, we have like a demented Pokemon here. Either way, same amount of damage every single time. Now, if we go ahead and level up a little bit, actually good to know, we'll get our Unite skill at level 10. Some Pokemon get their Unite skill at level nine. Gardevoir gets theirs at level 10. So you'll see that pop in. By the way, their Unite move is so cool. I cannot wait to talk about it with you. But then our first upgrade here for Psy Shock, so we can get this all done within one move here, is level 12. 
So, Psyshock Plus level 12. You kind of got to wait a long time to get some of these big upgrades. And what really stinks about Gardevoir is that these upgrades are significant. They are a really big game changer. So that's awesome that you get them, but you really have to wait a long time. Some Pokemon never even reach level 12 if you're not having a good match. So you got to make sure you are leveling up with Gardevoir. Make sure you are attacking everything and getting lots of levels in. Because if you don't, you're really going to suffer late game. But now let's take a peek here. In fact, let's go to level 15 because that's where I like to have my standard on levels here and standard on damage. Let's go all the way up to level 15 and you'll see level 14 is when you upgrade your psychic. So let's do it here. So bam and then bam and then bam. That's a lot of damage. 4,362 at level 15 is very, very high. Another really high scoring skill is confusion on Mr. Mime. And Mr. Mime in the most opportune settings when you hit him up against the wall is only doing like 3,800 damage. So this outclasses Mr. Mime's incredibly strong skill. <laughs> this is an extremely powerful skill. So how much of a bonus damage is Psyshock Plus compared to Psyshock? Well, I went ahead and I did the math for you already and it's about 4.6% per hit. So for example, I'm gonna cast it on the doll here and you'll get your base hit and then that next hit will be 4.6% stronger, and then that next hit will be 4.6% stronger than the second hit. Does that make sense? So, but bam a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. So since those numbers fly so fast to tell you how that would really be, the first hit would be like 100, and then the second hit would be like 104 and a half, and then the third hit would be 109. So then add all that together, and suddenly you have a hit that's like, I don't know, 300 and... 14 total or 313 total and then speaking of numbers as long as we have our substitute doll here let's talk about gardevoir stats and how it compares to other pokemon so if you go ahead and you take a look at the stats here i also want to clarify something so i made a mr mime video in-depth mr mime video and i had stats in that i did post a comment about how we corrected for it but a really easy way to tell what the stats are on a pokemon is to go to practice mode and use a substitute doll and turn on this little stats thing I thought the substitute dolls all had the same stats. Turns out they don't. Turns out these numbers here are the stats of the Pokemon you are controlling. And I proved that by going into the items and then applying items onto my Pokemon here. And then the numbers on the substitute doll changed. So at level 15, Gardevoir has 6,320 health, 174 defense, and 138 special defense. To put that in perspective, Pikachu has like the exact same stats. I think Pikachu has 6,300 health, like 175 defense, and maybe like 137 special defense. It's like the same exact stats on Pikachu. However, if you compare that to like a Snorlax, Snorlax has like, oh God, 9,900 health about, and his defense and special defense is, is like in the 400s, almost 500. So <laughs> very squishy Pokemon. Do not feel like you're going to be face tanking anything with Gardevoir here. And then for the basic attack here on the substitute doll, we're hitting about 334, 334, and then 874 on the special attack there. So that's actually pretty high compared to a bunch of the other Pokemon that I've seen, suggesting that Gardevoir here has a pretty high offensive rating. So one more thing I want to show you about Gardevoir is here's about the range you get if you're doing your basic attack. I was talking about Pikachu earlier and how their stats are very similar. And then I was like, oh, but the range is completely different. So what I'll do is I'll have this displaying and then I'm actually going to go ahead and grab some Pikachu footage here. And then you can see how much range Pikachu has. And then you can see how much range Gardevoir here has. But now let's talk about the other skill that we have equipped here, which is Psychic. So what Psychic does is after it goes a maximum distance here, well, bam, you see it makes a little aura. Well, within that aura, Pokemon are slowed down and they take damage. So this will happen at the end of the cast or it'll happen if it hits a Pokemon. Oh God, I just got ulted on. Leave me alone! <laughs> Let me go turn off attacks here and then turn on cooldowns. So what'll happen <laughs> if it hits a Pokemon, it won't have to travel all the way. So you see how it goes to the end of the shot there. Well, if it hits a Pokemon, it also just does it immediately when it hits a Pokemon. And you can see how it slaps damage on him throughout the duration of the psychic there now psychic plus happens at level 14 but the only difference between psychic and psychic plus is the cooldown is a little bit better on psychic plus so we don't have to sit here and you know factor in numbers and all that so let's go ahead and see how much damage psychic does so if we go into data here again and then take a look at how much damage it does throughout the whole cycle of it you'll see it does an okay amount of damage for a level 15 skill 
So let's let substitute doll reset here and you'll see bam that's about 1250 ish on that first hit and then you get about another 600 damage throughout the duration of the damage over time so it's about another 50 percent damage so pretty decent amount of damage here one thing i really like to do with psychic and also moon blast we'll talk about moon blast is i like to combo it up so you'll go bam and then you combo up with your zr there and you just absolutely melt so now let's talk about future sight and moon blast <laughs> they're both really really cool so future sight again level six and what you'll see here at level 15 is it does about 2600 damage so not anywhere near as much as a full psy shock but it does more burst damage on that first hit so the first hit at again all at level 15 was about 1389 on psy shock well this is about 2665 the second hit is when you hit around 2800 with psy shock so you have to hit two psy shocks to hit about the damage of a future site another thing you'll notice with future site here is that if you do hit the cooldown is reduced so let's go ahead and miss over here and then you'll see the cooldown is about seven seconds it says nine in the listing but it shows to be about seven right but now let's see what happens if you actually hit well suddenly that cooldown jumps way down all the way down to three right now here's the real kicker with future sight the damage does not go up with future sight plus <laughs> but the cooldown disappears take a look at this ba bam and then it's back 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 so i'm sure you can imagine come zapdos time here i can go ahead and turn off the cooldowns here because it's basically the same thing i'm sure you can imagine come zapdos time when there's a bunch of pokemon up in here and you're just like oh here's a future sight and then you're like, oh, it, here's a future sight. And you're like, oh, it, it, here's a future sight. It does a big chunk of AOE damage, and then you can just keep doing it. But again, the big problem with future sight plus is that you have to wait to level 12 to get it. And level 12 is pretty far in the game, and you have to be pretty diligent about getting your levels going. So, Psy Shock is a safer choice because you're guaranteed pretty good damage as long as you're getting your hits in where with future sight you're not getting that really big crazy advantage until level 12. you don't have the same ability to move with future sight like you do with psy shock but also if you're playing with psy shock you kind of have to stand exactly where you want it to cast where with future sight here you can cast it and then just keep moving you have a little bit more mobility so you kind of got to pick your poison between future sight and psy shock either way they're both really powerful skills one thing to keep in mind with future sight though is if you hit a wild pokemon that does not reset the cooldown that is only going to happen against the enemy team so choose wisely when you're trying to place these here see if i hit a substitute doll that counts as an enemy pokemon you see how it gets reset but if you do it just to apom over here you're not going to get that same advantage so Keep in mind, it's only against enemy Pokemon, not against wild Pokemon. So now let's move on to Moonblast here, because there's a few things going on with Moonblast, and it's probably one of my favorite skills that Gardevoir has. They're all so fun, but I think this one might be my favorite. So what Moonblast does is it shoots out a Moonblast. And when you use it, you get pushed back a little bit, and whatever it hits takes damage, gets stunned, and then also there's a cone of damage that comes out of whoever got hit so take a look at these apoms here it does the same amount of damage to whoever it hits and then whoever gets hit by the cone so look very closely at the damage numbers you'll see but bam they each got hit with 959 now this does not pierce it just creates that cone go ahead and take a look here it does not pierce it just creates the cone so if it's not hit by the cone it's not gonna matter but it does the same amount of damage to coned enemies and then whoever's directly hit now if you take a look here it also oh well they died <laughs> it also creates a stun so take a look at this apom here he gets a little stunned icon on top of him so i'm sure you can imagine i'm sure some of you are already thinking ahead here just how nutty this can get so if you go ahead and you stun something and then very quickly cast a psy shock or future sight you're suddenly doing a ton a ton a ton of damage <laughs> so let's go over to an easy to see doll over here the amount of damage that moon blast does is about 1359 which is very similar to the other option you have which is psychic 
just that Moonblast does not provide damage over time. However, Moonblast makes that stun happen. So pick whichever one you like. But now the combo I was talking about this is go pop pop on your controller. Look at this. Go bam, bam. And then suddenly <laughs> you're hitting almost 6,000 damage, <laughs> which in the land of substitute dolls, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> so Gardevoir does a disgusting amount of damage to the enemy team. But you're kind of squishy and you don't move real well. So that's kind of where the balance comes in. One thing we didn't talk about though, and maybe you've noticed is that Gardevoir also gets a shield if Moonblast is upgraded. Regular Moonblast doesn't get a shield, but if you're upgraded, you'll get a shield when you cast Moonblast. And how much is that shield? Well, let's go take a peek. Let's not have this shield equipped on us. And we'll see about how much that is and then I'll bring it into Photoshop. So ba bam, and then I can take a screenshot of that. And then we can see like just about how many that is. Here, do you want to see how in depth I really do get about this stuff? <laughs> I'll show you. So for me to measure stuff like this, I, I really go into it. So I would go new from clipboard here and then here's our thing here. And then I would go and I would lower this so I can make sure I'm really touching the right thing here, right here. And then I would go in like this and then I would go in, get the pixels just right. And then that's eight and then that's nine. And then there's some green in here and then that's about 10. So I think if we clean this all up, it's about an 8% to 9% shield that you get with Moonblast. All right. So keep that in mind. Moonblast Plus gives you about a 9% shield. So let's talk about the Unite move. Take a look at this monster. <laughs> Looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? If you're an Overwatch player, you're like, ooh, I know what that looks like. It looks a lot like Zarya's move, doesn't it? Because it behaves exactly the same way. So let's go ahead. <laughs> and take a peek at what it looks like over here with a big old pile of bees. Actually, I think the bees are being murdered over here by the other one, by the other guard of war. So let's go over to these bees. So what this skill does, it's called fairy singularity. <laughs> and what fairy singularity does is it draws Pokemon into the center point and it also does damage over time. So take a look at these bees. I'll try to cast it kind of on the edge so you can see how they get pulled into the center here. So I'm sure you can imagine all the different applications for this. So if we go ahead and we cast here, and then we cast Moonblast, and then we cast Eye Shot, we can just do a lot of different things to these dudes. So we go bam, and then bam, and then bam. That's a lot of murder, isn't it? So how much damage does the Unite move do? Because we kind of want to have reference here compared to her other skills. So let's go do Unite move. About 3,500 damage, which is a lot of damage. <laughs> Everything that Gardevoir does is a lot of damage. Before we finish talking about Gardevoir here, I just want to let you all know that I stream almost every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. We do viewer games. We talk in depth about stuff about this game, other games. I'd love to see you guys over there. Link is in the description. And with that, let's go and continue talking about Gardevoir. So final thing here I think we really need to talk about is the passive. And the passive that Gardevoir has is pretty cool. So what happens is it's called synchronize and when an opponent inflicts decreased movement speed or a damage over time condition on this Pokemon, the same is inflicted on that opponent. Meaning that if somebody slows you down, well, they're getting slowed down, which is nice because it's harder for them to chase you. If somebody goes ahead and starts doing damage over time to you, well, they're also taking damage over time. I think that's a little bit less cool. <laughs> It'd be more cool if Gardevoir had a ton of health, but Gardevoir does not have a ton of health. It has about Pikachu health, but it's still good to know that if somebody hits you with the damage over time spell, they're also going to be taking damage. It's also just good to know that if you want to do that to Gardevoir, you're going to be punished for it. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Synchronize is a skill that Gardevoir has on their passive. And before we forget, we should talk about what items we should put on Gardevoir here. So let's go to battle prep and put on some items. So something to know about Gardevoir is that they use primarily special attacks. Every Pokemon in the game does either physical attacks or special attacks. And Gardevoir does special attacks. The only physical attack that they have is their basic attack. So everything else is going to benefit from special attack damage. So in my opinion, it might be a pretty good idea to consider throwing on something like the Wise Glasses because that will increase your damage. And the amount that it increases it by depends on the level of the Wise Glasses, but it's a flat damage buff of at least you know, 3%, 5%, 7%. So considering Gardevoir is an offensive hero, typically when you want to 
build out a character you try to take whatever that character has that they're good at and you make it better covered in weaknesses usually is not the best way to get a really strong build out of a pokemon or a hero in whatever video game you play it's usually you take what they're good at and you make it better and then that's how you break things right so in this case since they're really good at offense i would consider maybe upping their special attack and then on that topic you can go ahead and consider doing something like the special attack specs because that will also increase your attack damage something i think that could be pretty good not gonna lie is probably the energy amplifier so since gardevoir does so much damage and it's that aoe damage and her skills persist and cast over a certain amount of area and they have a long cast time i think the energy amplifier could be pretty nice on gardevoir so these are some items i would consider but pretty much anything that's really going to boost up your damage that's what i would that's what i would think about by the way pro tip with these items i don't know if people know about this but it's a very big deal is if you go and you take a look at these knee pads what are they called they are called the score shield you know how when pokemon jump from the jump pad and then they stun you when you're trying to turn in well if you're using the score shield that doesn't happen you don't get stunned you just get to turn in <laughs> unless they damage your shield away you will be able to ignore that so that's a, that's a pretty big deal especially at the end of the game when you're trying to turn in a big 50 and they're trying to spawn on top of you score shield can win you some games so i don't know just something to think about score shield's pretty cool so this is gardevoir i you know i kind of agree with the star rating i don't always agree with it but i kind of agree with the star rating here really high offense really low endurance really low mobility and then support i mean i think the support could be a little bit higher because gardevoir has a ton of crowd control skills which i think provide a bit of support to the team so this is gardevoir pretty good pokemon i don't know where really they're gonna rank in the whole tier listing thing i think a really good gardevoir is gonna be essential for good team play just because really of the unite move you could really really combo up on people with fairy singularity and then again with all this extra aoe damage that you're doing and then the fact that you can crowd control them with moonblast i think that gardevoir is going to be a really really good team player solo queue not sure team player top tier so this is my in-depth guide on gardevoir if you enjoyed this at all or if it helped you at all please consider subscribing it would help me out a ton and i am going to keep providing guides like this i have an in-depth mr mime guide i have an in-depth advanced tips guide on the channel right now go ahead and check both of those out there's a lot of stuff going on in this game that you might not know about that, that advanced tips might help you out with <laughs> and i also like to provide tips inside of these videos too that aren't just about the pokemon recovering so if you learned anything or you're like oh wow this is awesome i want to see more stuff like this or if there's a pokemon you want to see let me know in the comments down below and with that, thank you guys so much for being here. I love having you here, and I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here.